Hi, I'm Jared and welcome to Fun Science Demos. Have you ever wondered why plants have flowers? Well, it's not just to look nice and smell nice. The big idea today is that those flowers make seeds and those seeds make new plants and those new plants make new flowers. It's a cycle, a life cycle. Flowers make seeds, make new plants, make flowers. So let's take a look at how this happens. Every flower has boy parts and girl parts. In this diagram, this flower has four boy parts. One, two, three, four. And one girl part right down the middle. At the top of those four boy parts is pollen. It's like dust. Near the bottom of the girl part, that's where the eggs are. And when the pollen meets the eggs, they make seeds, lots of seeds. So now let's take a look at a real flower and check these parts out for ourselves. Let's look at this lily. So this flower has six boy parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one girl part right down the middle. And if you look, you can see that dust-like pollen on top of the boy parts. If I pull down the flower petal, you can see some is rubbed off. It's dusty. And when that pollen starts up here and it makes its way down to the eggs, we have seeds. Every flower has boy parts and girl parts. They're just all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Tulips, lilies, and daffodils are some of the best flowers to look at to see those parts. Let's take a look at this plant. For an even better look, we've pulled off some of the flower petals and leaves. And if you look down here, that's where the seeds are. Flowers make seeds, make new plants, make new flowers. Take some time to stop and check it out. All plants and animals go through a life cycle. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our links in our video description.